Hey campers, and welcome back to the final week of your least boring summer ever, right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Where today, in just a few minutes, we are gonna absolutely obliterate my backyard here. The fire department has been alerted to ignore any frantic calls from the neighbors. Let's do this. I'm Mark Rober, and this is our 12th and final week of this supercharged summer camp experience, and what a journey it has been. And like all good journeys in life, it's less about the final destination and more about the friends that we made along the way. In week one, we surfed around on 3.5 million BBs with my friend and NASA engineer Michelle. We explored chain reactions with 4,000 mouse traps. When Jordan and Salish Matter came to visit, we used vacuum cannons to create a very, very big mess. We had Pringle can explosions with my friendly neighbor Science Bob. My nephews joined us for the crazy slime obstacle course where I scientifically proved to them that uncles still dominate. Yeah! Then in week eight, we used propane light tubes to send off bottle rockets. And I visited my dude perfect neighbors on my left to review your trick shots. We have the Ninja Kids out here for some liquid nitrogen fun, ending in a giant explosion that covered the whole place. And then finally last week, Ready? Yeah! professional fun haver Adley joined us with her dad as we explode everything we had lying around in our junk drawer. And that brings us to the conclusive week 12 of Camp Crunch Labs this year. So soak up what this backyard looks like right now, because it's about to look very different in a couple minutes. But while I was working hard with my friends here on our mega experiments, you were working even harder every week on the at-home super challenges, like building a laser maze, or making a forced perspective optical illusions, or coming up with some epic pranks were the most incredible trick shots as voted on by Dude Perfect. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> that was the perfect blend of Dude Perfect and Mark Rober. Or your delightfully delightful Rube Goldberg machines. And of course, every week, I picked my four favorite submissions to win this sticking it along platinum ticket to come out here and help me today for this final episode. So let's take a look at some of my favorites from the summer, as well as a few of your reverse video submissions from last week. There's a new Crunch Labs box that came in today. So that should make it very clear why picking just four of my favorites from every week is by far the hardest part of my job. And as for the reverse video challenge, I think these four were my favorite. 
So congratulations to everyone who challenged themselves and submitted their video of a super challenge this year. And of course, to the finalist who got the swag and the signed patch. And hopefully, and maybe most importantly, you've really enjoyed putting together your Crunch Labs build box and learning all the juicy physics that make these really fun toys work. But I've got to say, when you're ready to graduate from build box, I really want to make sure you know about Hack Pack. That's the new line for teens and adults where we take it up a notch with a really cool robot that will work right out of the box with no programming required. Then if you really want to try your hand at some simple programming, we teach you the basics and then you can really level up your robot to do really cool stuff like this, where instead of just a super cool remote controlled turret that fires darts, it turns into like a game of pie face where you gather around with your friends and you have no idea when it's gonna fire. Also, instead of a platinum ticket randomly inserted in your box, for Hack Pack, we have the platinum diploma and if your box has it that means college is free for you or someone really close to yourself that you want to owe you a really really big favor and that brings us to our very special guest of the week the official year two camp crunch slabs platinum ticket winner what the? I wasn't expecting three of you. Welcome to Crunch Labs. Awesome. Yeah. The chair's like totally covered in something. Oh yeah, it's been a rough summer. Uh, yeah. The table's very stained. Even poor old fat Gus here has got some battle wounds. Okay, uh, so if I'm not mistaken, you look like a Hiram. Yes. You look like an Ellen. Yep. That means you gotta be Lisa. Yes. Okay, I wanna know how you earned your platinum ticket. Um, I did the first perspective beetle prank. It's so good. If you see it, just let me know. Uh-oh. There it is. Uh, good. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh, is that, is that a chair? What is that? <laughs> and do you have a lot of bugs? Yes. I have about 100 isopods and millipedes. I have a bunch of snails. I have a 60 gallon fish tank full of like loaches. Did you say roaches? Loaches. Oh. It's a kind of fish. Whew. You got a darn pet smart going on over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ellen, how about you? So my submission that got me in was the laser maze. I added a breadboard here with a photo sensor so that when the light to the photo sensor is cut, then it will fire all six bits. <laughs> One of the fog machine, that was actually my brother's idea. He made that. That was so clever, by the way. I've never seen anyone do that. Dry ice in a milk jug with a fan stuck to the side. With a fan, that was so good. I, you guys submitted a bunch of good ones this summer. I remember I kept seeing the same hallway. You said think like an engineer. We took that as think like a social engineer. And so we specifically paid attention to where we filmed our videos to make it recognizable. And if we make ourselves recognizable, it'll way increase our chances of getting a cup. That's a dirty trick. I'm the trickster. I'm not the guy who gets tricked. Hiram, how about you? We won on the Force Perspective Super Challenge. Was it the vacuum chamber? Yeah, it was the vacuum oh, chamber. That was one. so clever. And release. All right, well, you guys snapped all the way out here. I think you probably want to see some action, right? Yeah. Let's go over to the picnic table Let's of go. unlimited possibility and meet my good friend, Science Bob Flukefelder. Science Bob? It's the day of the day. Bob, come over here. I want you to meet some of my new friends. Oh, great. I am still recovering from that A for Adley stunt you pulled. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I hope it's okay. I came by and set up a little thing earlier. I saw that. Somehow yeah. you got the code to my backyard. Yeah. Mark, do you need to set better passwords? I do need to set. We got a social engineer, Bob. Cut oh, it. okay. All right, so why don't you guys get your guy goggles on, I'll okay. show you what we've got. So I've got this giant acrylic sphere, but what do you notice is in the sphere? A balloon with a string. A balloon, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in the balloon. In here is our catalyst, in the bottom is the hydrogen peroxide, our soap, and our coloring, and in the middle is a lethal pointed blade. We're gonna unhook it, we're gonna take the safety off, we're gonna drop it, we're gonna see what we get. So I'll tell you what, why okay. all of us step back. We do everything safe here at Camp Crunch Labs. We have our goggles. Uh, you guys ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, cool. Look at this. It looks like Jupiter. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of cool. So, that was Destroy the Set. All right. That's all for Camp Crunch Labs. Oh, no. Okay. Clearly, you guys are not easily impressed, but I like that. Go ahead and take a step back for me. I'm just going to snap it in. You guys want to help me? Yeah. Okay. Everyone up? Okay, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. 
<laughs> what do you think Check of that? that out. So things are gonna happen in order. It's gonna happen over a period of like 10 seconds. First, liquid nitrogen in these trash cans. We're gonna have thousands of ping pong balls in here that will fly into the air. That's just the appetizer. Because <laughs> next what happens above up there, guess what's coming out of the window? Elephant toothpaste. A stream of elephant toothpaste is gonna come out on the front of the set all while at the same time. These two trash cans will also be spewing their own elephant toothpaste. Fat Gus might be in trouble. Sorry, little guy. One second after that, remember the tabletop version of this? Yeah. We've slapped some googly eyes on the front and I have confirmed they are in fact Googly, elephant's toothpaste will come exploding out of that all over the set into Science Bob's backyard. Wait, Sorry, Science what? Bob. As that's happening, we have four of these cannons. Remember an elephant toothpaste 3.0 to make the devil's toothpaste? We slammed the piston of liquid. Well, we've repurposed those, and it's just gonna shoot a slug of paint. Whoa in four directions across the set. At the very same moment, you see we have one, two, three, not four, but five bowling balls drop down sequentially into these five buckets, which are full of paint. paint. You guessed it. Coming splatting down and repainting our picnic table. And for the grand finale, we have one remaining window at the end of the summer. And that's a problem. We have a little daredevil fat Gus. He's gonna evil Knievel his way across the set as the paint's coming and flying out, elephant toothpaste covering the set, ping pong balls flying everywhere, fearless fat Gus will be charging towards Bob's yard. All while we are safely behind the viewing barrier over there. Darn it. Oh, you want to be right here? Yes. Uh, lawyers. <laughs> Bob better watch out. His house might not be there when it's done. Uh, my house better be there when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Behind the safety barrier, kids. Bob and I are going to get gloved up here and get the party started. We've had a good ride with this yard, but what a way to go out, right? You guys ready? Yeah! yeah! Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay! Why does the other one not go? No! Oh my god! It's a party! I think someone's gonna be coming up to clean my sunroom. I don't think you're the one who has something to complain about, Bob. It's the neighbors to the left I'm worried about. All right, campers, not only is it way past your bedtime, but the bus is coming in a few hours. Back to your cabins. Start packing to head home. Oof, Bob, we had quite a summer. Yeah, so as far as I can see it, I'm gonna need the trees cleaned, I'm gonna need the gazebo cleaned, I'm gonna Damn. need the... All right, campers, thanks for making this the most epic summer yet. Make sure you get your build box, more for kids if you're into building stuff, or hack pack for teens if you wanna learn coding and robotics. And of course, subscribe right here to our YouTube channel because we got way more bangers coming down the pipeline. And then we'll catch you next time right here at Crunchlands. Or at least what's left of it. Hey, campers, come on back. I changed my mind, get back here. Someone's got to clean up this yard.